On April 30th, 2020, I made a commitment to myself that I would post two videos a week to my YouTube channel for an entire year. And I actually achieved it, which is pretty damn good if I don't say so myself. It was a massive commitment and I'm very happy that I actually was able to do it. I learned a lot by sticking with it and I made a bit of cash along the way as well. So today I thought I would break it down. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Reese, and in today's video, I'm going to be talking about two very specific things that I have learned and experienced across my first year of actively trying to be consistent on my YouTube channel. And for all of my nosy viewers, I'm going to break down how much money I have earned across that time as well. I always wanted to start a YouTube channel, but I was never really sure on the type of content that I wanted to make. Back then I was into topics like photography and I was morbidly obsessed with a video game called League of Legends. And thinking back now, if I had actually started a channel related to either of them, gaming or photography, I would probably be miles ahead of where I am today. Those topics in particular are also an endless well of content. You could literally make content about photography for Ever. Peter McKinnon is a great example of someone who just consistently builds content, consistently makes content surrounding his craft, which is photography, which is amazing. Gaming as well. Gaming is an endless well of content. It is absolutely blown up over the last 10 years. And to think that if I had been practicing and elevating my skill set about filmmaking and editing and all of the fun stuff that comes along with making a YouTube video, again, today I would be so much better at my craft if I had actually taken the plunge and put in the time and effort to start that channel at that time. So here we are, it's 2020. It took me 10 years to get to this point to actually actively start making content for the purpose of posting it to YouTube. With no expectations whatsoever, I picked a topic which was personal finance and I said to myself, I just want to make content. I want to be consistent and I don't care if anything comes out of it and I still don't. I really enjoy the topic that I'm going to be making content on. I really enjoy making videos. Here we are. So the very first thing that I wanna talk about in today's video is one specific thing that I have learned through making YouTube videos, but something that has impacted my life in a much bigger way is that consistency is key. It's something that has really helped bring out my understanding of working hard hustling, really pushing towards achieving goals and how much I have really gained from committing to something like my YouTube channel, just as an example. I owe consistency to most of my achievements throughout life. I bring it up regularly in my own life to people I know and in a lot of the videos and content that I make as well. Consistency is key. Keep that in mind. Considering that I have a partner, a full-time job, everyday life, responsibilities and other goals that I want to achieve outside of the realm of YouTube, like for example, staying fit and healthy, which takes a lot of effort to maintain, you would think that it would be incredibly difficult to find an extra eight hours a week or so to be able to post two videos every single week for 52 weeks straight. Now, let me tell you, it was bloody close for some of those deadlines to stick to a two video per week schedule. It was insanely difficult but I got through it by improving my time management processes, disciplining myself to not procrastinate and just overall committing to getting it done. It was an unrealistic goal that I set for myself. I did not think I would be able to achieve it if I'm being completely honest. And somehow I got there and I'm still going, which again, it feels really good. And stemming from this and the achievements from the goals that I initially set, I have now set myself new goals, both for YouTube and my everyday life because why not? It's something that is important to me. I have a goldfish memory and actually talking about them gives me an avenue to come back to and see what they were to then reflect on them and see if I actually achieved them. So I've set myself a couple of goals. I'm going to quickly run through them. We'll see if they come to fruition in the future. For YouTube in particular, I have one main goal and it's to hit 100,000 subscribers within the first three years of me recording on this platform. I'm into my second year now or well into my second year now, but I still believe it is actually achievable. Going from 100 subscribers to 1,000 subscribers was an insane challenge in itself. Why not set something that seems unrealistic as well? Who knows what could happen? And if you wanna be a part of it, 
I absolutely would appreciate you hitting that red subscribe button down below. For life, there are many goals, but two in particular are the ones that I'm really focusing on right at the moment, and it is to read 20 pages a day for at least one year, which I'm just over halfway through at the time of recording this video, which is feeling really good as well. And the other one is to be able to converse with someone within the span of three years in the language Italian. So I'm again about half a year into this challenge. I'm getting much better. I'm still not confident enough to say any words in Italian to a camera, but I'm sure that moving forward, you might hear hints here and there based on my progress. These are realistic goals that I could absolutely achieve, but they're goals that I myself struggle to commit to. And based on this whole first specific component of what I'm talking about, being commitment and how it's really benefited my life. I'm setting goals that I can basically commit to and stay consistent with and hopefully get out of it what I'm setting out to achieve. The second thing I learned over the past year in regards to me actively pursuing posting regularly on YouTube is just how beneficial from an educational standpoint doing this is. Like I mentioned at the start of this video, I went into this with no intentions. I did not care if I made a single dollar from doing this. That was never the goal. And technically it's still not the goal. Money is always welcomed because it helps support do this. I can buy things that allow me to make the quality of these videos better. It gives me more time. If in the future, I were able to quit my job to pursue this. Who knows what will happen? But the whole point of me creating this channel was for me to create a database or a library of information that I myself could come back to to learn about things that I forget about and to provide information to people who want to learn and better their financial position. This is something that has been invaluable to me because learning about specific topics in depth has given me so much insight into what the best ways to handle them, to manage them are, which I've incorporated into my very own life, which has improved my way of life. I'm going like this, I'm getting all passionate and freaky because it seriously has been so beneficial. It's like insanely beneficial to my understanding of different things. I'm not the smartest person in the world and I do get things wrong from time to time. People definitely get mad about it and call me out. I expect them to and I will admit when I am wrong. But for the most part, everything that I've learned and portrayed onto the screen has been as truthful as possible and as current as possible, which is again, super valuable to me as a creator. It's super valuable to me as a human being who wants to learn and educate myself as much as possible. I have actually put almost everything I've talked about throughout this channel into practice if I wasn't already doing it in the first place. This has again been something that has been beneficial to me because it has just allowed me to optimize my financial position to a point that it's even more automated now. Money is just, it's not, this is gonna sound so weird, but it's just, it's not a concern and not a concern in the terms of I'm rich and don't have to worry about money. It's just, I know how to tackle problems as they arise now. I know how to allocate money where it needs to go for future proofing. I know, or I personally believe I know what I'm doing with my money to not have to ever worry about it, regardless of if I'm working or not working at the time of recording this video. It's just, it's a big conversation, but the whole point I'm trying to get to is that it has improved my personal finances to the point that I am so comfortable in my own little world of personal finance that I just can't, I can't fault it. That's the, the main point that is that the outcome of doing this has set me up in a position that I, I love it. I, I'm very happy with my financial situation and I earned it. I worked hard to achieve it and the outcome is that through this channel and through other channels and other sources of information, you can have that feeling too. That's why I'm trying to really give you that moment of clarity to say it's achievable and it feels great when you get there. If you're almost there, if you're just starting out, seriously, give it a go. Consider subscribing to the channel and learning along with me, learning things that you may not know, things that you may know but need refreshes on. Again, I'm rambling, but it's so relevant. So yeah. That was the second thing that I really specifically wanted to cover in this video. And I think it's so important to talk about. And finally, for my nosy viewers, getting monetized on YouTube is bloody hard. It was insane going from zero to 500 subscribers. It took me eight 
months of constantly posting, interacting on YouTube, it was an absolute challenge. And then in the span of a few days, I went from 500 subscribers to 2000 because I made a video about me making an obscene amount of money from investing into a very specific cryptocurrency and it went parabolic. Check it out if you're interested. I've left it in the link down below. I've left a link down below if you haven't seen it yet. That video alone is responsible for gaining me over 2000 subscribers. And if you are one of the subscribers watching this video now that came from that video, thank you so much for helping support the channel. I really do appreciate it. I cannot thank you enough for giving me the opportunity and motivation to continually post. I know not every video may not be relevant to you, but seriously, I really appreciate you taking the time to hit that red subscribe button down below. And if you haven't yet, and you're new to the channel, here is your reminder to hit it wherever it may be. So I hit the criteria to be monetized around mid-February 2021, which allowed me to run ads on the video. I know they're annoying, I'm sorry. If you skip them, I don't blame you. I do the same thing for a lot of the videos I watch as well. But once I got them working, the analytics or the analytic tool within the back end of YouTube started showing me what I should expect to start earning and here are the results. Now, by no means it is not hundreds of thousands of dollars, but it is a testament to how consistency can pay off. I was consistent, I was patient, and I finally got to a point that I was being compensated for the time and effort that I was putting into my videos. From the moment I was monetized to about the one year mark on the platform, which was about three months, I had earned a total of $870, which if you work out how much that is on a per video basis over that time period, it's about $870 divided by 105 videos, which works roughly out to be $8.20 per video. And it takes me around about four hours total to make an individual video when you factor in things like scripting, researching, filming, editing, and all of the ancillary things that follow. Going by those numbers, this is a terrible business model. It's horrendous. But this is only the beginning and I'm really enjoying making content for the channel. And I'm really excited to see where the channel takes me in the future. I am so humbled that I was even able to make a single dollar from putting my time and effort into making these videos. I cannot believe it. And it's all because of you, the viewer, the person who is hearing these words right now sitting at the other end of that camera or through the screen. If I continue to grow and I do eventually grow substantially, you are one of the first people. You are a very small percentage of the people who gave me my shot. You are the people who I cannot thank enough from the bottom of my heart for actually giving me your time. I hope it wasn't wasted. Overall, I really wanted to make today's video as kind of a reflection for myself because it has been a long and grinding year. It's something that in the future I would look back at and say, yeah, it was hard, but recording this video now in itself is a big time sink in terms of the bigger, broader world of my own, what I'm doing in my entire life. I wanna be able to come back to this if I hit milestones like 100,000 subscribers or even a million. Let's go, let's be ambitious and, and go for the moon. But ultimately, it's something that I wanted to come back to and be able to reflect upon because the amount of work and effort that went into this, I know it's nothing amazing. I don't have millions of subscribers and stuff, but to me, it's a massive achievement, something I'm very proud of, something I've really enjoyed doing and something I still really enjoy doing. That's why I do it. And I just, yeah, I wanted to make this video as a reflection for me as a library or as a moment captured in time of this achievement. And I wanna to say to you, thank you for coming along on the ride with me, on the journey with me. I cannot thank you enough. If you have made it this far into the video, well done, you're at the very end. I want to encourage you to start a challenge or task, whatever it may be, and actually start working towards it. Commitment is going to really give you the drive you need to get into it. And then consistency is going to be the thing that helps you build upon that goal, that dream, whatever it is that you're trying to achieve. Might sound a bit hippy dippy, but hey, everyone's gonna start somewhere. And even if it might be somewhat embarrassing, you might not be really good at it. It's something that is worth giving a go because in your mind, it's something that is important to you. And with that being said, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm demanding now, make sure you like and subscribe, please. And I will see you in the next video.